Clyde, this is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize. The number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the UFC. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by Nate So here we go, the former two-division champion, Daniel Cormier, who can forget what he accomplished in 2018, arguably the best calendar year that any fighter has ever put together. And DC back strong here tonight in the Hall of Fame, but getting back in the octagon tonight. It started in Boston. I believe the highlight of that year was in July in Las Vegas when I beat Stipe Miocic. It was a night that you never could have imagined. Goes out there and gets a first round finish. This guy has all the skills in a heavyweight. He possessed the power that he may not have had at light heavyweight. A tremendous, well-rounded mixed martial artist and a UFC Hall of Famer. And the only thing that has eluded this athlete, Daniel Cormier, of course, in his athletic endeavors, the Olympic gold, but how about the mixed martial arts success? Eight UFC title belts and a whole lot more of accolades at home there in Gilroy, California. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Black Mamba. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the Herbert Dean's in the building. He's the third man in the octagon tonight. Well, when you fight a guy like Daniel Cormier, our UFC light heavyweight champion, you got to be mindful of the wrestling. Also a brown belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu and sneaky power, too. So you can't sleep on the power of Daniel Cormier. We are very curious to see how DC approaches this particular challenge tonight. Moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. Well, not good body language from his opponent here at DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Nice shot there by the champ. Cormier's in half guard now. Now he's going full mount. Oh. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by DC. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Cormier's right back to the full mount. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm. Push it across and secure it with his head. He's got it locked in. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Motioning for his opponent to stand back up here. Oh, beautiful count.
Nice. Nicely done. Oh, tags him with the jab on the counter. Trademark inside leg kick there by DC. Well, we've already got too many of those Endo Sanchez boxing shout outs. And, oh, that is a thing of beauty. Caught him my favorite takedown. He caught him with the ankle pick. I mean, an ankle pick. He hit an ankle pick. You don't see it very often, but when it's done, just like Kel Sanders used to do to me all the time. Beautiful ankle pick. Take the out here. This is where he wants to be. Posture's up now, and Lance of this is head strike. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Beautiful transition. He should be trying to get back to his feet. Oh, big elbow. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get off of the hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Cormier. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Hey, scramble, get up. Scramble, scramble, get up. 90 seconds to go in round one. Pretty athletic off his back to avoid that strike from the top. really doing a nice job with his head movement here defensively on the ground to avoid further punishment. He isn't waiting until his opponent throws. He's being proactive. And when his opponent throws, he's already moving, so he's missing it. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Cormier's right back to the full mount here. He's got to be careful here. Pressure here from top position by Cormier. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Nice positional control here. Oh, he postures up in a big head strike by Cormier. Wrestling will help you here. Just as the referee will never take a guy out of mount. They will not take a guy off of your back. You have to get him out of his position. Oh, big elbow. Ten. Gotta be careful here. Round two is next. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. You ready? You ready? Let's go. All right, round two. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His striking was money in that previous round. Got to think he'll pick up where he left off. All about the money. Three back. Jack. Dollar, dollar bills, y'all. Every single strike he landed was on point. It was accurate, and it was every. Every time he let loose, he was able to land and land to great effect. Always busy here in the clinch. Lands a nice punch there. Well, he blocked that one. Oh, and the Superman punch is good. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Cormier. Dude's in a good flow state, landed punch after punch. Another clip position. Watch the trick of trips that he uses when he's in close. Nice job defensively. He blocked that punch. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Take 
takedown defense is there. strike there, and that one opened up a cut. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. Back mount now. Cormier's really pressing now. And he's got his opponent's belly flat on the mat. Making all these shots count. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take all right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Stuff the takedown, no problem. And now some separation. Nice uppercut. Well, he was knocked down by his opponent earlier in the round, and I'm not sure he's mentally back in this fight. Well, it's hard to build back from something like that. And as you watch, he's trying, but we don't know what type of dialogue is going on within himself, within himself right now in regards to him believing or not having much confidence in his approach to this fight. All right, side control now. One minute. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Strong reversal there. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Well, maybe he'll look to set up that hook again. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. Like but he's got... Oh, big knee! Fifteen seconds. Nice land. Great punch. Sounds on round two. All right, there's the horn, and what a round, champ. We got to talk about the knockdown. When you knock somebody down like that, you've got, got to be kind of fun to strut your way back to the stage. I mean, you are 10 foot tall. When you can <laughs> drop another person with a strike, you are 10 foot tall. Now, the issue is he did not find the finish, and he used a lot of energy trying to finish that fight. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to, to put his opponent down. Ready. Yeah. Here we go, third round of this championship. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh, 
punches in bunches as he lands another combination there, really doing a nice job stringing his shots together. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attacks. Great job on different places for his strikes to land. And again, dealing with that cut around his eye. Got to be careful. He's got to shore up the fence because if he keeps getting hit there, it's only going to continue to get worse. Great job finding that nasty shot from the clinch position. He's got the single collar tie. Takedown defense holds up. Fighters separate from the clinch now. Well, confidence is high. I repeat, confidence is high. And I got to think when you knock a fighter down in the previous round, that's going to think you can do it again. I mean, confidence is key in anything you do in regards to fights. So, for him to secure that knockdown early, he has to feel good on the floor. He's got that single collar tie locked in. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed active. Cormier gets the double leg takedown. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing to land punches, so look for a submission attempt. He does a great job of getting to his position, landing effective strikes, and now his opponent's starting to swell. Oh, hammer fist here by Cormier. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Oh, that's a pretty slick reversal right there. Take the back position. Yeah. Yeah. It's worse. Under three it's minutes worse. now to go on the round. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? He's a big shot, and they're not glancing blows. When he's throwing, he is landing so clean that his head is spreading off the mat. Got some separation from his clutch position. Cormier shot is blocked. Well, that's good defense right there. You gotta get the hands up to block the strike, prevent that cut from opening up any further. as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. He's got that single power tie. Oh, great combination of strikes there. He's back in the clinch. Watch for the knees to start to come out. Cormier gets the single leg takedown. Well played. Trying to recover full guard there. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. Oh, he's staying. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. He's got that arm triangle. Watch him pass to the opposite side. It looks real tight. He'll drop his weight to try to finish his technique. Oh, Bale's on the submission now. Pretty good head movement. He's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. He's going after that cut over and over again. And every time he lands, the cut gets worse. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side underhook. This is a great position for a top fighter. Continuing to work out of the half guard. All right, three rounds stop, down, stop, potentially stop. two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, he's getting the better with the striking now. I want you to cut those angles and get out of his range. We have to change game plans. Plan B, let's get that clinch game. 
All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here is round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go with the fourth round of a possible five. And a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight. So you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go to the next round. That's a lot of blood, man. I think I can smell the deep positive blood tell from here. Yeah, he's bleeding quite a bit right now. The blood's going into the eye. He needed to address this early. Now he's about to have to go into survival mode. Oh, nice counter jab to snap the head back. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Oh, he's got his back. Folks, he's really starting to leak out of that eye area, Danny. Well, he's leaking, John. He's wide open. The eyes are beat up. The guy's taking a beating, and the blood has to be affecting his vision at this point. All right, so he's got him in the north-south position now, DC. If you're the top fighter in this situation, what are you trying to do offensively? I'm trying to force some sort of action from my opponent. You want him to turn to his knees, to give you the guillotine choke or allow you to try to chase the back. It's a tough position to control in, but there are options for finishes and arc. Takes his back. Oh, well, he's setting up for a submission now. Dude's trying to finish the fight. All in on the rear naked choke. And now that he's got the choke on beating the neck, it's only a matter of time before his opponent has to tap. He's a lot of good movement. Oh, another heavy shot gets through. Up. He passes the half guard. Cormier's got the full mount. Look to get your guard back now. Oh, he's got to be careful there. Yep. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Under two minutes now to go in the round. Cormier's back in full mount. Fight IQ on 100 as this guy continues to target that swollen area. Look at him attack that arm triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he will lock his hands, pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest to get out. Yeah, Paging Alexio let it. Somehow he got out, though. Great job clearing the hips, facing, and getting out of that Ezekiel Joe Good work from the top here by Cormier. doing a really good job putting himself in position. Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. Uh, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC. And defensively, you better be careful. I know you've got a huge appreciation for this. Oh, I mean, this is, this is high-level grappling by both of these guys. He is in a lot of danger now. His opponent has beaten him. He's Good battered job. him. And now he is wearing it. There's a ton of blood on his face. He's got the sub locked in. The chin here could be the end. Oh, oh. Daniel Cormier has done it. <laughs> oh, man. So what a win for 
him here tonight. He gets it done and gets it done by way of submission. He told us this week, I gotta keep these judges out of it. Mission accomplished. Absolutely. He is a phenomenal grappler. He said that he held the advantage there and that would show itself in the fight. He proved that and he gets a submission victory. Amazing. We said it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 25 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by submission due to an arm triangle choke. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Daniel D.C. All right, Daniel Cormier, your winner by submission. This man has always had great offensive jiu-jitsu, and his opponent paid the ultimate price tonight. A lot of times it comes down to the pressure of Cormier, him taking his opponent down over and over until the opportunity presents itself. It presented itself, Cormier jumped on the submission, and he got the victory. Congrats to DC and his team.